Now, before I, I want, I don't want us to run out of time, but I do want to touch on post show, um, talking about navigating your first, you know, four weeks post show. What are your recommendations as a coach for navigating that with an athlete? In my opinion, I, I always say prep doesn't end until maybe four to eight weeks after show. So I, though this is my last week, I have about a month or two left of still being on top of my game. But what are your guys' recommendations on that? Uh, before Lane jumps in on that, I, I just want to say that's a very important question. Yeah. And um, one of Lane's coaches, James Longstrom, uh, he did a, a case series study on this. And if you don't have a plan, and Lane's going to share with us what, how he approaches this, but some of the newer competitors in this case series study, in the four weeks after their show, it was a very sad outcome. I'm talking a near 30 pound weight game in an otherwise petite female. Yeah. And what we also noticed was the experienced competitors seemed to navigate that beautifully. So yeah. there was an experience factor here, which I'm sure also comes along with coaching and getting good guidance. So I just wanted to say, if you don't get this right, it, and 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 this particular client was dealing with a little bit of depression around this issue, or not client, this was a subject. Um, so just wanted to preface it with that. Yeah, yeah. great, great, great point, Bill. Um, I think, again, there's very little research on this sort of stuff. What we do know is people can gain, regain body fat very rapidly post-show. Um, so what we're really trying to do is we're trying to restore... You have, you're going to have to, if you're very, very lean, you're going to have to regain some body fat. Like there's no question about it. Like you, you can't stay in that completely depleted state. Um, I, I actually, so I've, I've come around on this. I used to kind of reverse diet a lot of people very slowly out of a show. Um, and I thought it was cool because they stayed lean and they were adding calories and then come turn to find out that they still felt like crap, even though some of them got their calories up very, very high. Because yeah. when you're that lean, you are going to feel like crap regardless. Now, obviously, if they have another show coming up in like a month or something like that, it doesn't make sense to regain a bunch of body fat or even, even a modest amount of body fat. But if we're assuming that this person is going into a longer off season of, let's say, you know, at least, you know, six, hopefully more than that months, um, there's going to have to be some regain of body fat. Yeah. And so actually what I, what, I, what I started doing and I found that people responded well to was when I tried to do it conservatively, um, people tended, especially competitors who were so depleted, they just couldn't adhere to a really conservative approach. Um, so what I usually do is I actually start off the reverse diet for a competitor a little bit more aggressive um, so, you know, allow them to gain some body fat back, um, and an amount of calories that they can actually hit, right? Like if I'm like, okay, we're going to start right at your maintenance right now, uh, what it is right now. And that person, you know, it, and you have to understand if you've ever competed, you are famished, like food is all you can think about. It controls your every thought. Um, you are a bottomless pit. And so if you're trying to like just modestly increase calories it's going to be really difficult for that person to adhere to it. So what I tend to do now is say, okay, in this first month, let's try to, you know, increase body weight by probably around 2%, 2 or 3%. Um, and then, I mean, I, this is just a general amount. So don't, don't, don't take me, uh, don't take me too these aren't hard numbers. I just don't want people to be dogmatic about it, right? But yeah. um, let's say somebody was, you know, 80 kilos on stage. I'd really like to see them up to around 82 kilos, 83 kilos, you know, by the end of the month. And then once they've gotten a little bit of body fat on, they start feeling a little bit better, um, you know, uh, their energy starts coming back, their libido starts coming back. Then we can back it off a little bit, slow it down and yeah. start a more conservative reverse um, yep. and this is different. I want people to understand the coaches out there. If it's somebody who just finished a fat loss phase and they're not at a super low body fat, then you can conservatively reverse diet them. And I think that's completely appropriate. 
But if it's somebody yeah. heading into an off season who is at a very low body fat, it is no reason to keep them there for a, for a longer period of time. And that's something I've changed my mind on. Um, yeah.